Hello friends, welcome to Savvaji. Today we are going to learn homemade sambar powder recipe. Sambar powder is a ready to use uh, pre-packed spice powder mix uh, with the right combination of spices and ingredients and uh, prepare the sambar powder and uh, store it in an airtight container and uh, use as desired to render that uh, traditional sambar flavor to your dinner table and uh, prepare the sambar masala with the correct combination it is uh, important and the proportion of spice powders and uh, the use it as desired to prepare lentil dishes sambar or rasam for your family and in south india it is uh, uh, very famous to prepare this sambar powder at home uh, and they never purchase outside sambar masala so now we will see how to prepare this uh, South Indian Sambar Masala recipe. Now we will see the ingredients required. We need half cup coriander seeds uh, that is 40 grams and 2 tablespoons cumin seeds and 16 to 18 dry red chilies, 1.5 teaspoon fenugreek seeds that is methi seeds and 1 tablespoon black pepper that is uh, kali mitch and uh, 2 tablespoon chana dal, 1 tablespoon urad dal and uh, 1 by 3 cup curry leaves and half cup mustard seeds and half tablespoon hing and half tablespoon turmeric powder that is uh, haldi now we'll see directions to prepare heat a pan and uh, then add half cup coriander seeds and two tablespoon cumin seeds and then on a low flame stir and uh, roast the coriander and cumin till they become fragrant and uh, change color it just takes one to two minutes in a low flame to roast these uh, they should uh, smell aromatic and then remove from the pan and uh, add to large plate or a tray Now wipe the pan with a cotton napkin and uh, add 16 to 18 dry red chilies. Remove the crone from the red chilies and uh, before roasting them. Roast the red chilies uh, stirring them till they change color and uh, you can get their pungent smoky aroma. Place the roasted red chilies uh, in the same plate. Now add 1.5 tablespoon methi seeds, stir often and roast them. Roast till they get browned and remove in the same plate. Now add 1 tablespoon black pepper, stir often and roast the black pepper will get uh, aromatic and uh, this is the time you remove them from the pan add roasted black peppers to the same plate now add 2 tablespoon chana dal to the same pan keep on stirring at intervals while roasting the chana dal chana dal takes uh, longer to cook uh, than the spices The dal should get uh, brown or golden for uniform cooking and color keep on stirring them remove aside in the same plate now add one tablespoon urad dal to the pan and uh, keep on stirring these uh, lentils too while roasting roast it till they become golden and you get a nice uh, waft of the roasted urad dal and remove them and uh, keep in same plate now add 1 by 3 cup curry leaves fresh or dried roast the curry leaves till the uh, leaves become crisp and uh, keep aside now 
now add half tablespoon mustard seeds when all the mustard seeds finish popping then remove them and uh, keep aside switch off the flame now and uh, add half tablespoon hing in the pan quickly stir as soon as you add hing just the color needs to change of the hing and uh, you should uh, get its aroma remove and uh, keep aside now let all the roasted spices cool down and uh, come at room temperature in your grinder jar add the spices also add half tablespoon turmeric that is haldi ground in two batches depending on the size you can grind in two to three batches or in one go grind to a fine powder remove on a plate if grinding in batches uh, remove the ground masala on a plate and mix very well due to grinding the sambar powder will become warm so mix uh, very well after grinding in batches and uh, keep it uh, aside in a plate to reach room temperature once the masala cools uh, at room temperature then spoon it carefully in a jar do tap and uh, shake the jar so that the the sambar masala settles down while filling the jar close tightly with a lid and uh, keep at room temperature our homemade sambar powder is uh, very much uh, ready when we prepare this uh, sambar powder at home the freshness and the aroma will uh, stay fresh and uh, really family members uh, like to have the sambar and uh, add sambar masala powder to the sambar recipes uh, whenever making them so very easy to prepare the sambar powder at home so stop buying outside sambar masalas and you just uh, prepare this uh, and uh, uh, taste it and uh, really your family members uh, love it and uh, you just uh, addict to prepare this again and again so this is for today sambar masala powder i hope you like uh, this video thank you for watching keep watching my videos and uh, like and subscribe